Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Pokemon White 2. Last time, if you guys remember, we uh, took down Team Plasma, and we were moving off to go on Victory Road and take down the Pokemon League. Uh, this is Route 23? Yeah, Route 23. And if you actually go into a house at the top there, there's actually a place you can heal your Pokemon for free. Which is uh, really awesome, so you don't actually have to go back to Pokemon Center at all. Or, well, no, not at that point, anyway. So, yeah, you can heal up for free. Um, definitely recommend you guys go ahead and do that. And, what are we doing now? We're going to be moving up through Victory Road to take down the Pokemon League. Yes, I'm going to keep on spraying repels, because I don't want to have to keep on like going to my menu and doing it. What have we got? Um, Bugsy. Actually, we're going to put Bilbo up front. Then we'll train Bugsy up after. Let us go forward. Your Pokemon must be really something if you're on Route 23. Well, I, I don't like to brag, but yeah, they're awesome. And she has a throw, level 53, so... This is going to be an indication of how tough the Pokemon League is going to be. So I might have to do some training before I take it on, but uh... I, I, I think we'll have to wait and see. Oh, it survived. Hopefully we won't, like, get owned. Yeah, it's not bad. Bilbo, take it out. Did I just use Endure? What is the point of Endure? And there we go, one more Aerial Ace to take it out. And yeah, you do, you actually get to see the back of my desktop whenever I use Aerial Ace. It's like, uh, I've only just realized that, so... Yeah, you get to like see the background of my computer. Either that, or I can at least see it on the stream. I keep a tally of all the times I have won or lost until today. If I battle against you, I wonder which number will be increased. I don't even need to wonder, mate. You will lose. Emolga. Now, Emolga is an electric flying type, so quite kind of... quite unique. I'm just going to take us out, okay. Um, we're going to go into Baby Jaws. Purely in the fact that if I was to go into Bugsy, then it could use a flying type attack and then just take it out instantly. That wouldn't be cool. That would be horrible, that'd be nasty. Ah, oh, Amolga, what you doing? What you playing at, Amolga? Jellicent. I actually think that's a ghost type as well, so Crunch is probably going to do quite a lot of damage. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that, that was cool. That's fine with us. We get a nice Moxie boost as well. Oh yes, once to an earthquake at last. Um, I'm actually gonna get rid of Dig, to be honest. I, if I want to teach Dig again, I've got the TM. So, oh thank God, I'm so happy we finally have earthquake. I believe it actually learns Outrage as well later on. So, between Outrage, Earthquake, and Crunch. Baby Jaws is a really threatening Pokemon. Okay, so it's this way. Hiker. Hi ho! Let's go! Hi ho! Let's go! 
And he's gonna come out with a Poloswine. Poloswine is a ground ice type, so... I don't think grass type moves are super effective, I think they're just meh. Oh, still super effective, okay, so I'm not complaining. Robo Pass. Hopefully, again, this thing can get taken out in one hit. Come on. Bugsy, I believe in you. Okay, so you couldn't do it, Bugsy. God damn it. Actually, I'm pretty sure that's because it gets a steel subtype. Um, and obviously, the steel will add to the resistance of grass. But critical hits, so it's not bothered. And Bugsy grew up a level, so all it's all all good all round. Or not all good all round, it's good all round, not all good all round. Oh there's a house over there. I feel just a random house, we must have to go inside and see. I wasn't expecting a visitor, all I can do is give you this. TM35 flamethrower! So yeah, that's awesome. And it's a Haxorus, okay. You can give me your Haxorus, you know, that'd be pretty cool. But uh yeah, so we just got the TM35 Flame Pro, which would be really awesome for teaching to something maybe one day. Um I won't actually teach it to Embor at all, which is uh but a lot of people were kind of recommending to me that I should do, but um... No, I, I don't really want to teach it to it because it's a physical uh, attacker. As opposed to being a special attacker. Swanner. Okay, so Bugsy can't really do anything, so he's gonna have to switch. And we're gonna go into Thunder. So, Thunder should be able to take this thing out one hit. Hahaha, <laughs> you got paralyzed, you little bitch. And there we go, Swanna is down! And... Galvantua. I think this seems like a perfect time to try out Earthquake. And one Earthquake should take this thing out. And... <laughs> How does Earthquake feel? Man, I don't even need the Moxie. Your side is much more in harmony. Okay, so that's that trainer done. Do we go this way? I'm gonna finish exploring this route, because I feel that there's gonna be a lot of stuff on here right before the Pokemon League. Heart Gold and Soul Silver are definitely better games, without a doubt. I 100% I agree with you there, uh, Brekajurus? Um, no, I 100% agree with you. Um, I actually plan on doing a Heart Gold stream right as soon as I finish uh, Pokemon White 2. So, But uh, Pokemon White 2, I, just, I hadn't played it yet, so I wanted to get it done out of the way. I don't ever play Black 2. Okay, so there's a random... Uh, black belt guy over here. So we should be able to take him out without too much difficulty. Black belt Luke. Sock. So I'm gonna guess he has a sock and throw. Both of which are like meant to be kind of a judo Pokemon I guess. I think that's a description in uh, Pokedex anyway. I can't remember exactly. But uh, a couple of leaf blades will hopefully take it out. Close combat. And yeah, critical hit, so <laughs> that makes sense. 
But uh, there we go. Sork is going to be dead and really hopefully get a little bit more experience on Bugsy. Um, I doubt that's actually anything to do with um, Desmune. That's more likely to be uh, ROM that's not properly patched. Um, Desmune in itself probably should. Uh, I can I can I, I can imagine Desmune probably wouldn't be the problem. I'd have thought it's more likely to be the ROM that's not working right. Um, are you talking particularly about Heart Gold and Soul Silver, or are you talking about like games like Pokemon White Two and Black Two? Ah, uh, I don't really know. Oh, Heart Gold. Um, by any chance, do you end up cutting out at um, Mr. Pokemon's house? Because if it's, if you actually, yeah, that, that's not a problem with Desimune, that's actually a problem with your uh, Pokemon Heart Gold ROM. Um, so, that's actually, uh, all you need to do is you need to download a patch. Um, or not a patch, you can just download a black screen sheet. If, yeah, yeah, if you go into uh, Google and type in um, Pokemon Heart Gold uh, Mr. Pokemon black screen fix then you should get a cheat for it and um, if you turn this cheat on in your cheat options then it should basically just kind of negate the effect of it happening um, either that or you could always try and find a uh, fully patched black screen ROM um, neither, either or shouldn't be that difficult to find but uh, yeah that, that's a common thing to do with heart gold and soul silver um, that, that's not just your ROM, I think that actually happened on my uh, Soul Silver one and before I patched it. Yeah, cool ROMs, ROMs, um, although they are good, doesn't necessarily mean they're always going to be purely patched. Um, what I did to find mine is I went onto YouTube and just typed in fully patched Pokemon uh, heart gold or soul silver ROM and uh, often they give you like a blow by blow tutorial on how to download it and install it and uh, that normally you know gives you a it gives you a fixed ROM so that, that, that's a good way of getting one that works um, because that, that, that is actually a problem with your ROM not your emulator so if you were to fix it if you were to find a bit if you were to find a ROM that way then you should find one that works. Because Cool ROMs, uh, although it's a good website to get them on, it doesn't always update the latest. Come on, I'm moving fungus. Hurry up and die. I want to move on to the Pokemon League. I mean, I, I downloaded this uh, ROM that I'm using right now off YouTube and I haven't had a single problem with it at all. Um, and that's me now moving off to the Pokemon League. Fire Bacon, you gain a little bit of experience and we are ready to move on. Uh, I've been waiting to give this gift to someone. Oh, you shouldn't have. You gave me a citrus berry. Awesome. Ah, uh, Among Us couldn't have pulled off a better ambush, right? Well, it could have done, couldn't it? Let's be serious. Get the item. TM05 Roar. I like the way he actually said himself. He knew exactly where he was hiding. He was like, yeah, I'm hiding next to an item. Shaking grass, shall I go for it? Yeah, why not, quickly. Oh, that's a glide score! Awesome! I didn't even know you could get a glide score here. Okay, well, you know, I, I don't really want it on my team, so I'm just going to run away. But, uh, apparently you guys can get Gliscor in the Shaking Grass. So, that's a really awesome Pokemon. Uh, 
around here maybe? Anything around the back? No. Anything up here? No. Aha! Trainer! Oh trainer, embarking on the path to Victory Road. Won't you show me your true power? Say please. Pokemon Ranger Lena. And she's gonna use a float cell. Float cells the pure water type, so hopefully Bugsy can just quickly take it out using Leaf Blade. And Bugsy, god damn it. Ah well, Thunder you'll get you'll definitely get it. If you don't get it, Thunder, then I'll be disappointed in all of you. And Flow Cell is dead. No way he survived that. Lucario, eh? Um, you know, I'm just gonna stick in here with Thunder. I, I kind of want to get Thunder up to level 54. Um, you can definitely tell which ones in my team are the ones that get used most. In particular, Thunder, Baby Jaws, Morphs, and Fire Bacon. But, uh, really, they're all quite decently leveled, so I shouldn't need to train too much for the Pokemon League. I think I could probably do it. Probably not, if not now, definitely when I arrive. And level 54, so there we go. I like where she goes, yeah, you shouldn't have shown me that much power. And we get another citrus berry, so that's, uh, that's really cool. Yeah, so another repel. And we can't go that way. Oh, we have arrived. And it's N! What you doing, N? Pokemon League is just past Victory Road. Pokemon battles do nothing more than hurt Pokemon, that is how I understood it. And that is why I hated battles. But it's not that simple. Pokemon battles decide winners and losers, it's true. Yet they do much more. Your Pokemon, you, your opponent, and their Pokemon, everyone can see what wonderful things others contribute. That's right, accepting different ideas, different beings, different changing the world, like chemical reaction. Pokemon battles like a catalyst, a small opponent to take leads to big changes. My friend Reshiram told me that, and it's a formula I've delivered from training around the world. I want you to think for yourself what it means. Here, take this with you. The new Victory Road has areas that can only be accessed with Waterfall. Okay, so East has gone ahead and given us HM05. So Yes, we have the basic badge. Yes, we have the toxic badge. Yes, we have the insect badge. Yes, we have the bolt badge. Yes, we have the quake badge. Yes, we have the jet badge. Yes, we have the Legend Badge. And yes, we have the Wave Badge, which then means we can finally move up. You know what, I'm gonna walk this bit. Just because it needs to be epic. Here we go. Victory Road, here we are. And I actually think there's a couple of hidden items hanging around the outside of it. And there's actually a, like, a little stone hut Pokemon Center here, which is really awesome. Um, definitely, it's good because it means you don't have to go back to heal. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. And the fact that it's made of stone just makes it pretty more, it, it just makes it more awesome, not gonna lie. But, uh, what else is there to get here? Yeah, there's a couple of hidden items here, so... Is there one there? Yep. An iron. Uh, so you might as well just quickly pick them up before you go in, because odds are if you don't, you won't come back for them, so... PP up. Yep. 
Yeah, I might as well just spray another repel. I have like 30. Down round here, maybe. Up here. Around the back. Up here. Yep, here we go. Star piece. And, you know, there's probably another couple of items back there, but really, I'm just anxious. I, I just really want to get into Pokemon League. So, Victory Road. Here we are. This place is full of the toughest trainers in the region, so... I actually think that's where I got my, uh... The same website I actually got this ROM from. So, uh... That one should be working, probably, 100%. Um, did you make sure it's English patched, or... If you download it, it's in Japanese, and unless you can speak Japanese, or read Japanese, it could be a problem. You? Who's brought you this far? Well, no one really brought me here. It's not as if I kind of got in a car and drove, but you know. Pokemon Ace Trainer Jamie. And she's going to go in here with a Drift Balloon. Well, if it, look, <laughs> if it looks like English, I'm going to assume that uh, it, it'll probably be all, it'll be all you know, It hopefully will be all good, and hopefully in English. And he's gonna go with a stockpile. Stockpile will actually raise its defense and special defense. Uh, I think it's sharply. So really, that can be really handy for uh, walling your opponent. Um, it's quite often what I do against uh, Lance and Heart Gold and Soul Silver if I'm ever using a Lantern. Um, I'll just kind of use stockpile repeatedly and then just kind of let him attack me non-stop. But, uh, once again, there's been a slight level boost of uh, Pokemon trainers here, but uh, nothing really new. And I, I still find it quite funny that uh, you can actually see my desktop whenever I use Aerial Ace. Claydol. Claydol is a ground type, I think, crossed with a psychic type. Um, once again, it's a good Pokemon that can be quite annoying for a wall, so I'd recommend using something super effective against the clay doll. It also might just end up using Explosion, which will just cause great damage to one of your Pokemon. And to have one faint this early on in Victory Road really could be quite annoying, especially if you don't have any re uh, any revives. But uh, it was all good. Clay doll got taken down. But uh, we will quickly use a full, uh, not a full restore, a hyper potion. Just so Bilbo can kind of become fighting fit again. No. Whereabouts are we going? Is it down here? Nope, that takes us right back to the beginning. And that will obviously take us back from somewhere else. So, maybe up here. Okay, we can't go that way. That implies it must be this way. I would turn my resolution up, um, but I think if it get, ends up going too high, it would probably just uh, cut out. But um, I reckon when I do a Pokemon League, I will definitely turn the, the quality of it up. Probably maybe to, as you said, maybe 720, but uh, have to wait and see. You are no ordinary opponent. What is this? What? This is what my ghost type Pokemon is whispering to me. Um, no, I'm from uh, Scotland. Just across the water from Ireland, um, north of England. So not quite Ireland. But uh, hopefully Fire uh, Bacon can do something. See, whenever I actually hear myself speak, I, I, I don't actually ever think I have that much of an, uh, of an accent, to be honest, but uh, I might just be because I'm used to it. 
What move is that? Is that psychic? God damn it. Oh! Almost dead, but we get a speed boost, so we should definitely get a kill this turn. Like, I, I know it's not a really broad one, but, uh... You don't really like Pokemon after a third gen. Um... I wasn't a major fan of Generation 5. Uh, Pokemon Generation 1, Kanto was decent. Generation 2 was still decent. Generation 3 was... Probably my least... not Well, not my least favourite, but... Um, it, it, I didn't really particularly like Generation 3 that much, but it wasn't bad, if you know what I mean. Um, Generation 4 I actually really liked. I think I had a, a load of really cool Pokemon in it. Um, Generation 5, a lot of them just look retarded. I mean, what the hell is that? It's just a sarcophagus. It's a sarcophagus with hands coming out of it. Um, you know, there's even an ice cream type Pokemon. So, uh... <laughs> A lot of Pokemon in this generation, although they're kind of, you know, but yeah, yeah. I mean, there is some cool-looking Pokemon in Generation Five. Um, like, you tend to be able to make a handful of uh, Pokemon which can create a team that look really quite cool. Um, like Baby Jaws, for example. I, I think Baby Jaws looks pretty awesome, but in my opinion, it does look like a Charizard without wings with a penis attached to its face. So, it although it's cool, it's kind of got a problem. Our unity won't be bested by anyone. Okay, so what's she got? Ace Trainer Shelly. A Swoobat. I mean, yeah, what the hell is that? It's just, it's Zubat with a love heart on its face. With, like, one of those little collars on it with like a little rat tail coming off the back. But uh, Swoobat, really not that great at Pokemon. I actually have a friend of mine that actually did uh, try and use a Swoobat on his team. Um, didn't really work very well. I think he gave it up by like the third gym or fourth gym or whatever it was. Really quite early in the game. And there we go, Swoobat's dead. One hit from Thunder. Lilygent. Okay, so we're gonna go into Bilbo again. Yeah, yeah, Labrat has been experimented on quite kinda quite frequently and that was kind of a result. Petal Dance. To be honest. I don't really like that Pokemon Lilygent, but it's not bad, it's still quite unique, I guess. Um, you know, at least they kind of had some sort of idea of where they were going with it. And there we go, we get another win, and a decent whack of money, so that can pay for a full restore when you get to Pokemon League. Uh, around here, get an item, oh jeez. Wait, so this Roselia is going to be higher than my team? Yeah, level 55. <laughs> okay. Um, I always think it's kind of quite bad when uh, wild Pokemon are slightly higher level than your team, but you know. Um, are you talking about for creating Pokemon in uh, Generation 5? Like, what they use their inspiration, because I, I mean, there's literally a bag of crap, like a bag of rubbish. And they called it Trubbish. I mean, I think that's probably the most lazy Pokemon I've ever seen. It is, li it is literally a bag of rubbish. I mean, to be honest, I, I think, uh... Have you, have you not seen Trubbish? Oh yeah, man, quickly, uh, go and Google, um... Trubbish, and maybe it's evolution, I can't remember the name of it. Um, either that or I'll, go, uh, either that or I'll uh, look it up in the Pokedex at the end of this video. Or at the end of this video, at the end of this battle. But um, yeah, there's actually a Pokemon that is literally a Bagfish. And its evolution is an even bigger bag of rubbish. Um, quite, legitimate, quite legitimately, 
you know, that is, again, probably one of the worst Pokemon ever. <laughs> Unpheasant. Oh yeah, oh, I'm not bothered man, you don't need to start out swearing in the chat. I, I swear quite frequently in the videos, so... I, I'm not really bothered about bad language. But, uh, yeah, I mean, quite legitimately, what what the hell is it? it as I said, it's literally just, uh, it's, it's, called a tr it's called a trash bag Pokemon. Are you serious? That is actually what it's called in the Pokedex. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's shocking! Ah, oh, jeez, I haven't got cut with me. I swear to God, I hope I don't need to cut. I'll look at it at the end of this video, because if I if I open it up, then it'll come over the stream, so... Um, I, I'll have a look at it at the end of it, if you know what I mean. Just so, obviously, the viewers don't have to end up me seeing... Uh, just so the viewers don't have to look at Trubbish any more than they have. Because Trubbish was like a massive Pokemon... Uh, Trubbish was kind of a reoccurring Pokemon that kind of never left me alone during the Team Plasma videos. Not last episode, but maybe the one before. Um, anything over here, maybe? Uh, surf. Uh, we'll try and go over here first, I guess. And there's a doctor, so hopefully he'll heal us up. And get rid of Fire Bacon's poison. A veteran Cathy. Species trash bag Pokemon. <laughs> I like where it's not even just like trash Pokemon, it's a trash bag. Like, it had to be even more specific to what it was. I mean, like, you get some really cool Pokemon, like, uh, I can't remember the name of what Pokemon Bilbo is, I think. It's not Rufflet, that's, uh, first evolution. But, um, you know, Bilbo is an awesome looking Pokemon, like, they made some really cool things. But then you have to look at Trubbish and you think, ah. This evolution is a trash heap. Oh, jeez. That is actually disgraceful. Come on, Bilbo. Don't die. You can take out this Pokemon. There we go. And Bilbo will level up. 53! Awesome. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh, okay, just survived. And Crobat. We're gonna go into Thunder. What it would be actually better is if someone had, like, a whole team of like Rattata, uh, or Raticate even, like a, maybe like a Crobat, maybe like, uh, what you call it, a Woobat, maybe like, <laughs> maybe just throw a Mighty Eno in there, maybe a Zigzagoon, just, uh, it's like all the Pokemon you get at the start of the game, and then like when it took it out in the Pokemon League, it would be awesome. Hey, Youngster Joey catches Rattataz. Youngster Joey's Rattataz in the top percentage. I mean, like, he actually calls you frequently to catch Rattata. And there goes Crobat. And Thunder's gonna grow to level 55 as well. You don't believe me? Oh man, you need to search Youngster Joey's top percentage of Rattata. Thunder tried to learn Thunder, but we will not teach you Thunder. Oh yeah, man, uh, Google Youngster Joey, he's like a, he's like a Rattata 100% nut. I am a doctor. If you have Pokemon in bad shape, let me see your Pokemon in battle. Okay, so if your Pokemon are dying, let me see them and I will make sure they're dying. Seems legit. Oh yeah, I personally hate Rattata, but I think it'd be a really fun game to watch someone actually like get the Pokemon League done using like Raticate. Um, I'm pretty sure I did actually see someone do it on the original Red and Blue using only a Magikarp. And they just literally used like a bunch of X special items. And we're gonna go to Bugsy. So Bugsy is actually our lowest level right now, so he kinda needs to level up a little bit. He needs to keep up with the rest of the team. And there go oh what? Oh no, like you don't evolve the magic cards, so you just keep one magic card. Um, like, it literally is a video of some guy taking down the champion using a magic card. 
and uh, all, all we did is just use X special items on the one Magikarp, and then the Magikarps like Tackle and Flail would take it out. I can't remember if it was on the original Red and Blue, or if uh, if it was on, um, what do you call it? What's the remix called? Leaf Green Fire Red. I can't remember which one it was, but I'm pretty sure it might be Leaf Green Fire Red, actually. Either way, I, I still think it was quite an achievement. And level 53, that's awesome. No, but a, a whole team of Magikarp was something that didn't even exist in this game, so that, that was one benefit of Generation uh, 5. I aim to be the best doctor in the world, but my first steps will become the best doctor in the universe. What makes you so much better than every other doctor I've been to so far? Uh, this way... What is deep blue would you like to surf? Yes, I shall. Um, what's around here? Yeah, I was kind of a bit, I was kind of a bit gutting that they actually got rid of Nurse Joy in this game. Um, I mean like, even your mom in this game is, uh... Your mom in this game is a nurse as well, or an ex-nurse. Which actually tells you the beginning of the game, but... I don't know, uh, does that mean like, maybe if Nurse Joy still existed? Does that mean you relate to Nurse Joy, or... I don't know. Uh, it, it's one of those questions. Bilbo versus Gagalith. Um, we're gonna switch into Bugsy again. Just because, uh, if I went into Vaporeon, I could easily get the kill of Bugsy, so I kind of want the XP to go this way. Okay, fuck you. Fuck you, Gigalith. Oh yeah, I mean, to be honest, I didn't actually mind May too much. But, um, Misty was definitely better. Like, I, I think May wasn't too bad. But, uh, I mean, Iris, Iris is just a pain in the ass. Um, Dawn was just whiny as hell. And then May was just, she wasn't too bad to be honest, but uh, that was better. Taken out by Quick Attack, Gigalith. That's shameful. Oh yeah, she was. Well, she was really, wasn't she? But uh, they they could have made her a lot worse, to be honest. I mean, the fact that they brought Max—is it Max or is it was it, was it Max? But either way, they brought her brother as well, and you know he was just like he was just kind of chilling, doing nothing. Well, I I don't even know what he did during the whole season. He just kind of he just kind of followed them, holding a Pokenav. I mean, let's be serious, you didn't really need him at all. Come on, Fire Bacon. And there we go, Skarmory is taken out. And Skarmory is an actual awesome Pokemon, I actually really like Skarmory. And Veteran, it was a good fight, but uh, I ended up taking you out. And Doctor, come here, I'm gonna quickly get you to heal me up again, just because you're right outside and I might as well. But, um, I actually, personally, I really liked the, was it the Orange Islands season? Um, for the anime, the, the, the series of the Orange Islands, in my opinion, was really good. Oh yeah, I mean, like, the fact when Brock left, it was just like, seriously, this isn't Pokemon anymore, guys. Ah. But, um, for one, I actually did watch a uh, part of the new season. Um, it's when Ash's Charizard actually comes back, and I think it's basically Charizard versus Dragonite. And, oh my god, that fight is actually really good, I'm not gonna lie. <coughs> I actually really liked that fight. So, that, that, that was actually one good thing about the latest, uh, series. God damn it! Baby Jaws, you have let me down. Hmm. 
But the fact it was Charizard vs Dragonite and it was epic just kind of goes to show epic generation 1. Fire Bacon just sit in that and just kind of flame charge it. And Durant is gone. Pharaoh Pharaohorn? Okay, so yeah, so this is Steel uh, Grass type. Incredibly high defense, incredibly high special defense. No, it's not high special defense, is it? It was high attack, high defense, and high HP, I think. Either way, it's a really good Pokemon for walling, especially if you get Move Curse on it. Um, so yeah, if you if you have one of these on your team, you know, definitely a good Pokemon to have. If you haven't, then meh, not too bad, you've not really missed out. But um, I actually use it on Pokemon Online. I'm really helpful on that, but you know, in-game I don't know how helpful it would be. Because it's kind of like a stalling Pokemon. But if you're to actually give it a rocky helmet, um, and it has iron barbs, it can do a lot of damage uh, purely on that alone. So, you know, it can definitely be something you should consider. What do you mean, Dora the Explorer? Wait, 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 wait. I'm confused. What do you mean by Dora the Explorer? I mean, I, I know it's a TV show, but, uh... Wait, seriously? Dora the Explorer is in the newest Pokemon series? No, really? Oh, are you talking about Iris? Like the little random wifey who's got like her hair tied back and bunches and like runs around in the trees and shit. Just like a mad Rambo wifey. Yeah, oh yeah, no, she pisses me off. I, I, I don't like Iris at all. Although Iris is actually a champion in this game, so we'll have our we'll have, be able to take down Iris probably not long. Baby Jaws, do your shiz. And hope we get an earthquake off and take it out. Oh, it hits first, okay, that's cool. That's cool. Completely legitimate. <sighs> and Gavantula is down. Moxie is up and we are gaining a nice little attack boost. Okay, so is it this way, maybe? I don't know. I'm going this way. Oh yeah, I see what you mean. Like, she does look a little bit like Dora the Explorer. Big boulder, maybe we'll push it aside. I'm going to push it down here. Just because it gets it done and out of the way. I'm going to assume that we need to get somewhere over there. What's down here? Um, anything over here? A max repel. Definitely worth it. An ultra ball. And what's this? That's a, it's a little ace trainer guy. One, you are a Pokemon trainer. Two, I am an ace trainer. Put them together and it's obvious that we're going to battle. Awesome, man. Um, let me know if your ROM works. Uh, hopefully it should do now. You might need to put a black screen patch onto it. Other than that, hopefully. Um, you shouldn't need to put anything else onto it. Brave Bird. Huh, seems legit. Oh no, not morphs. Uh, we're gonna go to Thunder again. 
and Thunderbolt. One hit, easy, no problem. And Ampharos is the next Pokemon out, so Baby Jaws. Show Ampharos why you are the superior Pokemon. Like, you've put speed up on your emulator, like, are you playing on Desmune or are you playing on No Cash, B G no Cash GBA Zoomer? And there we go, easy win. So, whenever Repel, get it up. I never realised Desmune has the ability to speed up uh, games. Okay, so... Where about his tabs? Okay, so we're gonna just keep on surfing about, hopefully try and find the exit to the Pokemon League somewhere. But, uh... Ah, uh, wild Pokemon, what is it gonna be? Really? A Tranquil level 55? Why have you not evolved? Okay, so... Dar Ramatan. Or Dar Namatan? And we're gonna switch into morphs, I think. Like, is it a tab button? Or, um, as in, like, you have to go into your settings and put it on? Or. I kind of hurt. Oh shit. Are you talking to me about heart gold or... Huh, well, I might do it by the end of this episode then. X shot X Shotten, were you talking to me there or were you talking to Brek uh Torgis? There we go, Dara Ramatan, sit down. You have got nothing. Okay, so we're gonna go into Bugsy. Um hopefully we can take out this big tangulo just by using uh, a couple of uh, X scissors. One X scissor. Ah, so close, but yet so far. Oh, jeez, Bugsy. There we go, Tangrove going down. Love for Pokemon, you can't lose. Oh jeez. Altaria. There's actually a load of really cool Pokemon in uh, this Victory Road, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, it's another uh, Ghost Trainer, I think. Okay, makes sense. 
Either that or alternatively, um, normally I tend to use uh, no cash zoomer. Um, but obviously, I, I think yeah, heart gold, not heart gold. Um, black and white two actually didn't work on a uh, no cash zoomer, or it did work, but it's like we didn't run as well as they would have done on Desmune. Um, so I, I tend to just play Desmune if I'm streaming. So. There we go, Lampert, you're dead. You ain't got nothing on Thunder. Misharna. This one's for Baby Jaws, I think. But yeah, the Victory Road actually has a lot of really tough trainers in it. I think, um, this is probably the best Victory Road in terms of getting you prepared for your Pokemon League challenge. Um, you know, like the heart, the original Kanto one was quite good. The Johto one was, you know, piss poor as a victory road goes. To be honest, um, what do you call it? Is it? Uh, nah, yeah, it looks like a fetus, doesn't it? I don't know. I, I always thought Misharna looks like a massive fetus. Okay, so where are we going? Oh, that road there is blocked off. So right over here. Strength puzzle, kind of. Um up one, two, in going around I think. Can I move it over from that way? No. And can move it up one more. Move it over one. Down. Yeah, there we go. Over. Down. Around. Over. Down. There we go. And that now allows us to go that way and we have our ace trainer. And absolute nothingness that way. So let's go and take on that ace trainer. Come here. What's he got? Golar. Would you believe this Pokemon can actually learn fly? <laughs> Golurk can actually learn fly, believe it or not. He's just like the Iron Giant. Oh, so close to one hitting it. And that's it for Golurk. And level 54, so that's pretty awesome. Wants to send out Sigus Sigilus I don't know. Okay, so we're going into Thunder. Just so we can get rid of it quite easily. And this should take it out one hit. If it doesn't, I'll be surprised. There we go. Ace Trainer Billy. Well, here y'all, Billy, that was a good game, but y'all can't do nothing against me. Okay, so I have a feeling that actually takes us back to the start. Um, so I'm not going to jump down that little ledge. Because I, I know the ledges do take you back to like the beginning, so we're not going to go that way. Um... Fucking wild Pokemon stronger than my team, god damn it. Oh, it's an Altaria and a thing me. So it's Bugsy and Baby Jaws, both of which are pretty much dead, I think. Yep, so we're gonna have to quickly go to the doctor again. Uh, 
Um, I can send you a link right now as I'm streaming, but uh, if you go into YouTube and search Pokemon White 2 ROM download patched, um, you can find it that way. And I think the top result is the place that I got it. Um, and that, you know, that, that can get you it right away, so if you go into YouTube and search it that way, that'll definitely get you the ROM. And I'm going to quickly go to the doctor because I need to heal. And that was at X Shotten. Obviously it does run a lot better on a DS, I'm not going to lie. But uh, if you haven't got a DS then it's always nice to have. Well, I, I think I've got every single Pokemon game for Game Boy to, to, to the DS. So. And let's go outside here. Backpacker. I am X Team Plasma. <gasps> what? You're Team Plasma? Well, just for that, we're gonna have to kill you. Sawsbuck. And this is actually the evolution of Deerling. Did I just use a tract on me? Alright, good, it didn't, it didn't use a tract, it's fine. But uh, as we actually have Defiant, attack will sharply raise. So really I had no effect. <laughs> Turns into Earthquake, nothing happens. There we go, sit down, you little deer. Eek, you look like that trainer from two years ago. And really your guy must be like, by now, who the hell is this trainer two years ago? Because he has no idea. And an item here, so what is it? An escape rope. Really not much point, as you're not going to be trying to escape. Uh, and really what you could do is you could just come outside and you could just use fly. Um, that would be a lot more of an effective way. Okay, so apparently we need to use... Oh, I need to teach Waterfall, I forgot about that. If not Ice Beam. Waterfall! More of some afraid you need to learn Waterfall, even though we will never use it. Um... You know what, although Quick Attack has been useful, I want to keep Acid Armor. Um, I want to kind of have that defensive move on it, so at least this way we keep that, and we have to, we, we get rid of uh, we get well, not get rid of waterfall, but we get the ability to climb waterfalls and shit now. So, so it must be this way. Surfing, 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 surfing. Okay, so it must be this little cave. Here we go in. And we'll cross the river. Where are we going? Okay, we can't go that way. Must be this way. Must be around here. Must be up here. Oh, double battle. Who's up front? Bilbo and Bugsy. Let's see how this goes. But um, I get the feeling we're actually coming towards the end of Victory Road. I hope. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I definitely really do like this Victory Road for all this game's uh, flaws. Um, the actual quality of Victory Road is quite high, so... Oh, there's double bravery in this fight. Bravery, you will stay out. You shall use fly on Bravery, just to be a dick. Um, Bugsy, you won't last, so we're going to send it to Thunder. Rock Slide? Oh jeez. Where the hell do you get Rock Slide? U-Turn. 
Okay, that's fine. I, I was really expecting Thunder to die there. I was just like... Um, if Thunder was to die, that would kind of blow the whole team strategy out of the way. Or not the strategy, let's say, just kind of... The ability to destroy this team. Because by the looks of it, we're going to have a lot of fossil Pokemon and, like... The two unique flying types as well, so... And the fact it's paralyzed, Bilbo should be able to take it out. There we go. Oh, so close. Caracosta, yeah, there we go. It's the other fossil Pokemon. So, actually, I'm going to try and get rid of... I'm going to quickly take out one of his team. Um, if we can take out one of our Pokemon sites, then it's a lot easier to take them out altogether. Yep, so Caracosta gets critical hit, and he dies. And Bilbo goes to 54, so levels all round, so it's nice and good. Ah, oh, Bilbo dies. But uh, we're actually going to go back into Bugsy. Um, purely for the fact I'm confident that Thunder can take them both out one hit, so... I say that now, then he's going to survive and I'm going to rage when they kill Bugsy. But Archtops didn't survive, he's dead. And back into Mandibuzz. And hopefully Thunderbolt can take this out as well. I'm, I'm not really sure if it will. Um, Mandibuzz has a really high special defense and defense. So, yeah, didn't kill it. But hopefully Slash will. Yeah, there we go. So, it was good game, veterans, but... Uh, my guy is clearly more of a veteran. So we're going to carry on this way. Oh, I think there's an item here, yep. Wild Charge. Wild Charge is a really good electric type attack, and it's physical based, so... Shit, this is us back like, right at the beginning of Victory Road again. But, uh, it means we now know that wasn't the right way. And, we go, and it means we can go back to the Doctor. Uh, do 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 this way. Doctor, come here. First steps will become the best doctor in Unova, then I will become the best doctor in the world. Well, good luck with that goal, mate. Um, I'm gonna explore to the left, I guess, first. And, okay, so we're going to keep on going up towards the Pokemon League. Zuelius? Zuelius? So, this is going to be a dark dragon type, so we're going to go into Manda... not Mandibuzz. What have we got? We have Vaporeon, we have Morphs. Oh, Body Slam even misses, so we get a nice free switch in there. And there we go, nice easy win. Electros. Now, Electros is an absolute beast of a Pokemon. And here we go. Hopefully this one won't know Flamethrower. As if you actually watched the Team Plasma battle against Getius, his one at... How the... Ah, fuck's sake, this one does know Flamethrower, okay. Well, Bugsy, I tried to get you experience, but uh... Apparently the game doesn't want you to level up. We're gonna go into Fire Bacon.
Hopefully Flame Charge will take it out. Come on, one hit, 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 one hit. Awesome. Speaking of awesome, hey there, Mr. Awesome, how you doing? And there we go, Fire Bacon's even gonna get to level 57. And then we can finally advance, hopefully, to the Pokemon League. Where are we going? Is it this way? And we get a rare candy, which is pretty cool. We can feed that to our Pokemon later on. Um, which legendary Pokemon are you trying to catch? One of the two legendary Pokemon. Which legendary Pokemon are you talking about? I, I actually cannot think. Oh, Suicune and uh, Ryukyu, isn't it? Because you already have Entai, don't you? And we're going to have to quickly fly this guy, because Throw and Sock are really two quite bulky Pokemon, I'm not going to lie. But um, really, it shouldn't be too difficult. Um, the Suicune, uh, do you not have to go through a bunch of Suicune events? Um, I believe, you, is, it, is it Heart Gold you're playing? Um, I, I think in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, you actually have to go through Suicune events to catch it. Kind of like a little bit how you did in Crystal. Yeah, and then I think you end up catching it on top of uh, Cerulean City, I think it is. I, I mean, I might be completely wrong with that, but I think I think it's Cerulean City you get it. Like the City of Water. If you could hear me opening a wrapper there, I decided I will eat a Rice Krispie Square because I'm starving. And Sock, hurry up and die. I know. I'm actually all, I'm, I'm off school at the moment because uh, I've got like an illness or some shit at the moment. Or not an illness, like I'm not well at the moment. Um, so that's why I've been like recording loads, and I've almost finished Pokemon White already. <laughs> Alright, I've fin almost finished the main story. There we go. Wait, is that the Pokemon League? Let's see if it is. It'd be awesome. Zeb Striker. Oh my god. Have you ever had chocolate or Ace Krispy Squares? They are awesome. Oh my god, my mouth is like watering just eating it. Mm. It's just basically like Cocoa Pops. It's awesome. If you know what Cocoa Pops are, then you are awesome as well. Because Cocoa Pops are friggin' brilliant. Again, I'll watch it after. So if I click on the link right now, then uh, like the stream will kind of, it'll cover the stream. Star me, eh? God damn it, Bugsy! One of the one of the few Pokemon you could have actually taken out, and you're dead. Ah, god damn it! Some U3. Oh right. If it's on um like the leaf green fire red platform, I think I know one you're on about. I think I've seen it before. Um Sock. I will say I think Sock and Fro are quite common Pokemon in this cave, I'm not gonna lie. Here we go. Fly. Let's do this, Bilbo. It's gonna bulk up. God damn it. 
and if he's clever, he'll use bulk up again. But he's not. Oh really? Okay. <clears throat> Come on, we can do this. We got this. Don't die. There we go. So once again, you see my background of Princess Zelda like cowering as Link's taking on Ganondorf. Okay, so I have a feeling we're almost at Pokemon League. I really hope we are, because uh, I'm psyched and ready to go. Bertic. Okay, so we're going to switch again into Fire Bacon. Oh yeah, like you sometimes can use a ridiculous amount of Ultra Balls on trying to catch things. If it has a, if you always can try and paralyze it, um, I think that increases your chance of capture a lot higher. Um, then trying to get it down to like the bright reds, so maybe using a move like false swipe, because um, that'll bring. Oh, you're not going to catch it. You just want to kill it. There we go, Bear Tick, you're dead. And Fire Bacon, you're getting your speed boosts, which is awesome. If it's in the red zone, then odds are you will catch it, it just might take a bit of time. I always think, that, I always used to think that the... I always used to think that the catch rate actually increases um, more Ultra Balls that you use. <coughs> well, I don't know if that's true. It's just kind of like a, it's kind of like a feeling I got whenever I played it. But um, might be completely wrong. Go Rock! Come on, one hit. Yes, awesome. Well done, Morphs. You've grown to level 55 as well. Hopefully take it out one hit. Rock slide. You can you can take that morphs. Oh, so close. Ah, paralyzed. God damn it. Come on, we can do it. Take it out, take it out, take it out, take it out. Yas, well done, Morphs. And you're almost level 56 as well, which is really cool. Let us go forward. Oh no, see if we have to fight you. Oh man, god. Did you save before you caught it? Or before you battled it? Ah, shit, I never healed. Ah, no. Okay, so we're against Q. For, I, I think this is the final time we're going to battle him. Um, how are my team doing? Okay, so we're not too bad. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to quickly Hyper Potion Bilbo. And it's gonna quickly get the attack boost. But uh we're confused. Uh I don't know what to do. We're going to go into thunder, I think. I did not expect you to come up behind me there. Facade. Hopefully one thunderbolt will take it out. 
What's fun? Oh, and Thunder will actually level up to 57 as well, so that's really cool. And he's going to go into Buffalant. So, Baby Jaws, I think. Oh yeah, the Kanto region is actually really fun. Um, like, I, I think, uh, uh, Ber Ber uh, Berek, Berek or Joyce, um, who's also in the chat, I think, he might, I don't know, I think he's still in the chat. Um, yeah, he was, he's just, uh, started playing through the, alright, hey Breck. Um, yeah, I think Breck was just, uh, down, I, I think Breck just actually started playing Heart Gold. But um, you, if he's played it before, you'll probably agree that the Kanto region is friggin' awesome. And I think it's a brilliant idea to go between two regions in the game. And Samurott, okay. Thunder, I think it's back up to you. See, I, I, I remember the first time I, um, I actually got I, I got Heart Gold first, then I bought Soul Silver not too long after, um, <clears throat> and uh, it was absolutely brilliant. I, I just sat and bashed it nonstop. Um, the Pokey Flute. Uh, the Pokey Flute you actually get by doing the Radio Tower side quests, um, and I think it actually becomes a radio station. And then you have to put it down, uh, you basically have the radio playing when you go up to the Snorlax and then it'll basically wake up. But to do that I think you need to get the, the part back from Team Rocket. Which I think you need to go to the power plant which is next to Rock Tunnel and then you have to like go back to Cerulean City and then... It's a lot of running backwards and forwards, put it that way. So, what was the last thing um, you did? Like, have you got the have you got the part back and given it to the? Have you have you given it to the power plant guy? Um, then try and go to the Lavender Tower in Lavender Town, like, it's a radio place in there. And they should update your, uh, Pokenab. Simi say, Jay. Fire Bacon. I have a feeling this is actually quite a long episode. One hit. There we go, fire bacon, you champ. Thanks to you, I accomplished what I set out to do on my journey. I wish I could show you my little sister's huge smile. Take this as a thanks. Thunderbolt! Yes! So, if you're actually uh, having a bangathon, you'll be a very happy guy right now. As um, you can actually finally teach your Pokemon Thunderbolt. And we will be arriving in the Pokemon League in the next part of the stream. Um, if you're watching it on Twitch and you've enjoyed what you've seen, don't forget to follow. If you're watching it on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, if you're watching it on Twitch again, the stream will actually continue again right away. Um, I'm just going to quickly up increase the quality of the stream. Um, as it's going to be the final battle, I want to have it in quite decent quality. Um, so yeah, if, if you've uh, enjoyed it, uh, if you've enjoyed it, don't forget to follow. If you've enjoyed watching it on YouTube later on, um, don't forget to like, comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll be back on in probably literally about three, four minutes. So I'll see you guys soon.